relating to our next quote here. Of the death pit. That's my biggest model. Right? Get the booty out of there. Yeah. Real talk. Let's hope that the garbage truck doesn't come back because then I will actually have to reshoot this and that will suck because that's the entire point of re-talk is not reshooting. All right, so today we're gonna to be talking about maturity and maturity in regards to identity. So what is maturity? Maturity is a word that's thrown around a lot. A lot of people say, well, you're immature, you are mature. We usually associate it with uh, being more responsible, being older, stuff like that. And, you know, a lot of people, if they were asked, what does maturity mean, would struggle to come up with an actual definition. So, for the purposes of this video, I have, in fact, looked up maturity so I can give you guys a more concrete definition of what exactly maturity is. Maturity is defined as responding appropriately to uh, a, a challenge or a situation or a decision um, as viewed by your culture. So, it's the idea of... Um, you're jobless and you need to pay your taxes so the appropriate response would be to get a job so you could pay your taxes the inappropriate response would be to say hey I'm gonna take the rest of my money and invest in meth that, that would be an example of something that would be inappropriate so maturity is all about making appropriate decisions and that's a hard thing to do and it's a difficult idea because we all have different ideas about what's appropriate, what's inappropriate, and you know we all are unique individuals that you know come to our own decisions and conclusions on our own. And so, how can we have some global standard to define what is mature and what is immature? Well, unfortunately, we do kind of. It's defined by society. I'm sure we've all been called immature at one time or another, but let's specifically get into um, some more interesting stuff to deal with maturity. So in the 50s, there was a psychologist and his name was Erickson. Erickson developed this uh, psychosocial model of uh, maturity or these idea, these stages. And so his entire idea was that there's all these critical key moments in our life, they're like stages that we progress through. And the idea is that we have to successfully complete each stage to go into the next stage. However, if we go into the next stage, the problems of the previous stage stay with us and we continually battle against these. It's a really interesting idea and his work has definitely stayed still relevant because some of his ideas were very compelling. And his whole theory is based on the idea of conflict and so each one of these conflicts or these stages occurs at a specific time period in life and there's kind of one for each major portion of life, right? We have one for youth, we have one for adolescence, we have one for maturity, we have one for middle age, we have one for old age, stuff like that. Specifically though today, we're gonna to talk about identity and this was one of uh, Erickson's stages, one of his ideas. So his idea of identity was the clash of friends versus uh, identity, friends versus independence. The idea of figuring out who you are versus who the group is. And so when we look at this, I say, do you really know who you are? The idea of your identity and who you are and having a concrete sense of self, this takes a while to develop. In fact, for Erickson, this stage was ranging anywhere from 17 to, I believe, I believe about 24. So unless you're over the age of 24, chances are you're still finding yourself. You're still trying to figure out who I am as a person. And so when you're trying to develop a sense of identity, you're often trying to distinguish yourself from others. You want to be unique. You want to say, no, you know what? This is the way David does things. David does things differently than these people. David does things differently than everyone else because this is David, this is who he is. So when you're trying to find this unique sense of self, this can often lead to situations where you are responding differently to a situation than other people. Now, if you remember, we talked about something earlier with responding a certain way to a situation. Oh yeah, that's right, we're talking about maturity. So when you respond differently to a situation from other people in an attempt to forge your own identity, you might actually be doing things that are considered immature. You might actually be judged as not very mature by other people in this quest to forge your own identity. 
And this is actually a very common thing to have happen. And a goal to become your own person and a goal to become your own unique, beautiful monarch butterfly, you may actually end up showing everybody else how insecure you are or how not secure you are. Because the idea is that theoretically we can all respond to things in our unique different ways but appropriately, right? When you look at the quest for getting attention or the quest for building friends, when I was younger, uh, I thought the appropriate way to answer that question was to make very lewd jokes and comments all the time. I had sex on the brain a lot. I just I very much so, like every five sentences, at least one of them had some sort of uh, explicit sexual reference. And so, you know, that, that, that for a while composed my identity when I was younger, right? I was trying to fit in, I was trying to be funny, whatever, and I needed these sexual jokes all the time. It was over the top. And so from an outsider or somebody who was older, they would definitely view me as immature. But for me, I was just trying to find who I was. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not trying to say I'm fully mature now because I, I still do make the occasional sexual reference. And, for any of my friends watching this, you're probably thinking, yeah, no, David watches, makes more than the occasional sexual reference. But the point is that now, they can be a little bit more subtle, and I've highly developed my eyebrow, suggestive eyebrows. That, that makes all the difference. <laughs> so, the summary of this video is the idea that identity is this fluid and changing thing, and I don't think I have it completely figured out yet. You probably don't have it completely figured out yet. And don't get so hung up on this maturity thing because we don't have maturity fully figured out until we fully figured out who we are as people. So for everyone who's telling you that you need to mature or you need to grow up or you need to start acting like an adult, it's part of life. We're 21 or 22 or 23. You think that we should uh, you know, have our taxes, our mortgage, our house, you know, our car loan, uh, got settled down with a wife and kids. Sadly, it ain't that way because we're still finding out who we are. You know, in fact, these are some of the most important years between the ages of 18 and 22 because this is for a lot of people when they fully uh, are free from the grasp of their parents. And once they're fully free to make all their own mistakes, they kind of really start defining who they are as people. They find out who they are because when they're left in an open environment to make all of their own decisions that's when they discover which decisions they will make and which ones they won't make and we also go through school and stuff like that so at the end of the day don't sweat it give everyone a couple of years we'll check back in see how we're doing and you know if they're 25 and they're still making really bad decisions at that point I'd say yes they probably still are immature